Оксана and Vasil Olinik fled their home in the Posad Pokrovsky Kherson region in March when Russian troops occupied the region. Now, according to Oksana, having returned home, they are forced to survive because the Russian occupiers bombed their farm during the offensive. We live here. We received a wood stove today. The previous one we used was all rusted. Today they give us a new one. The husband brought it. We already burned wood in it. Now we will be with this wood stove. One could cook porridge or anything most necessary on it. One could warm up water on it. But there is no water. Vasil shows the remains of his tractor bombed by the Russians. He says he doesn't know how to plant and harvest now. Without it, one cannot survive in the countryside. When one lives in a village, you could live only off the land. It is all his income. Vasil adds that it is already impossible to restore the equipment. However, he does not lose his sense of humor. This is called the assembly of my tractor. The Russian world liberated us from it. May Russians burn. Children also suffer from the aggressive Russian war, so instead of toys they have crutches and fragments. However, many people are returning to the village. They say that after the invaders were knocked out of it, one must somehow start life from the beginning. 170 or 180 people live in the village now. Some come, repair the house and leave. The ones that still have something to say, they save it. The ones that have nothing to save and have no place to live, they don't come back. My parents' house is gone, completely ruined. There is some roof left above my house, but it is still scary to look at. Before the war, Posad Pokrovsky was considered as a prosperous village. Now, according to local authorities, more than 90% of residential buildings have been damaged or destroyed by Russian air raids and shelling. Reported by Sergei Kulas, UATV News.